What's up guys and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So as you can tell by the video description, I do have a few announcements for you guys. Uh, mostly it has to do with me and my channel. So the first announcement is that uh, the uh, quick guide uh, series that is going to continue. Uh, the next one will be Silver Peak Ridge and I hope to get that out by uh, Wednesday the 26th or uh, Thursday the 27th. You might even see it as soon as Tuesday the 25th. I am uh, I think I'm gonna drop it on the 26th though just because I have jury duty that day and uh, I want to have a video lined up for the day that I'm not going to be able to really do anything uh, playing games or making videos so uh, you do have that to look forward to I do have uh, the quick guide for Silver Ridge Peaks coming up for you uh, so you guys seem to at least appreciate those videos so I'm going to keep doing them Announcement 2, as you can probably tell on the screen there, I do have Hera, which is our bloodhound. Look at her. Look at her. Um, so why did I get the bloodhound DLC after vehemently saying I would not? Um, I debated this for probably the last week, week and a half, and it all comes down to right and wrong for me. I decided to go ahead and get the Bloodhound DLC because I do make videos uh, on this game and it just seems proper that I have all the DLCs. Uh, some of you may agree or disagree with that line of thought but for me um, it all boils down to leadership. You know don't ask your troops to do that which you will not do yourself and I realized that I was relying on other YouTubers to give me the information to base my decision upon. And uh, that's just wrong. That's not good leadership in my opinion uh, as somebody who creates content with this game. Um, I, I can't very well in all good conscience tell you guys that the blood Bloodhound DLC is pointless, it's useless, and all that good stuff if I don't actually have it. Um, if I haven't actually tried it. And, uh, yeah. So that's why I got it. Um, my opinion has changed slightly on the Bloodhound DLC. I actually enjoy having the dog with me. It's It gives me something else to interact with in the game. Um... As far as utility purposes, it's still kind of pointless in my opinion. Is it worth the the four bucks to to get it? Sure, it, it is. I, if you like dogs, if you like having a companion, if you will, uh, while you're out there um, smoking some critters, <laughs> um, it's certainly worth it. I, I do enjoy having it. I, I do enjoy it. Um, Again, it, it, it's, it doesn't really serve a purpose <laughs> as far as helping you play the game, but, um, you know, it is what it is. You guys decide for yourselves, all right? Um, honestly, in my opinion, uh, having have... Wow, words are hard. After getting the DLC, uh, my opinion is that you guys should probably wait until the next major update to get it to see if some of the problems are fixed. Uh, I've really only encountered one problem with the Bloodhound DLC and that is I did get a crash. And uh, you guys will probably see that. I may edit it out but it's after I get the Jackal. Um, it, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, you know, I I went into this DLC knowing that that was an issue, so I can't complain about it. 
I knew that was a problem before I got the DLC. And I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get it anyways. Uh, so that's on me. That's not on EW. EW knows that there are random crashes since uh, with the Bloodhound DLC. They know this. And uh, from what we understand, they're going to try to fix it. Uh, so hopefully that will get fixed in the next um, major update that they're coming out with probably in two, three weeks. Um, it's definitely coming out in June. But um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, again, agree with my thought process, disagree with it. Um, you guys are more than welcome to leave your comments down below. It, it, but for me, it just comes down to, like I said, right or wrong, proper leadership. You know, I can't very well base my decision on the DLC, um, on what I've seen from other YouTubers, like Lady Legend, Jaxie Beard, uh, Zaggy, Flinter. Um, you know, I, I based my decision off of what I saw from them. And that's messed up. So, I did get the DLC. My opinion hasn't changed much, but it has changed. Uh, like I said, I, I, I think it's worth it. But I wouldn't go out and get it until after the this upcoming update. Assuming that the problems are fixed. Um, so, there's that. The third and final announcement before we cut scene over to the Diamond Jackal <laughs> um, is that, uh, you know, it, it was proposed to me, well, it was asked of me um, about a year ago, actually, why I wasn't a community contributor. And at that time, my answer was simply because I don't know how to become one. Well... I do have Discord. I, I saw that there were a, there was like an application to become a community contributor, and I waited. Um, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to go that route or not. Uh, I was a little apprehensive about submitting my application, but I did. Uh, I, I submitted my application today, guys, to become an official community contributor. I don't expect to be approved. And I'll tell you why. The, uh, I guess the prerequisites, I guess is what we can call them. I'm not sure I fit the bill. Now, they say that they want six months worth of videos, which I certainly have. I've got, uh, like 53, 54 videos on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, so I, I, I'm pretty sure I fit that bill, um, I can check that one off, but um, the there's two things that tell me that I'm probably not going to get approved. Uh, one of them is that one of the requirements is that you have to basically show the game in a positive added, in a positive light. And you guys know me uh, when it comes to games, uh, I'm no bullshit. If there's something I don't like. I speak my mind, and I don't hold back. <laughs> um, you guys have noticed that uh, my most popular video for the Hunter Call of the Wild was that video, She Said What? And um, I did not expect it to be as popular as it is. <laughs> but uh, apparently you guys really appreciate that I don't sugarcoat things. And I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I, I tell it how I see it. If I'm right, great. If I'm wrong, uh, then I'll do another video apologizing or making a correction, saying, hey, I was wrong. But, um, you know, it's the fact that I've, I've slammed this game and I've slammed EW pretty hard, um, that tells me that that right there might be a disqualifier, uh, especially since in that particular video, I kind of slammed Meagles, um, kind of indirectly, but directly, um, when I said she was full of shit. <laughs> um, 
so they'll probably disapprove me because of that. If for no other reason, they'll probably disapprove me because of that comment. Um, against one of their own members, against one of the uh, community moderators. I don't know what her official title is. But um, I'm not expecting to be approved because of that. The second reason uh, that I'm expecting to not be approved is... Um, what was it? I had it. It was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, oh, there was a question uh, on the application that asked why do you want to be a community contributor? And my answer, uh, you guys know me, I'm blunt. I don't sugarcoat things. Uh, but my answer probably wasn't what the folks over at EW want to hear. Um, I It was very basic, it was honest, it was brutally honest. Um, I don't exactly remember the, the exact phrasing, so I'll paraphrase, but my answer was essentially, I'm already making videos, so why not be official? <laughs> you know what I'm, I mean, that, that was basically my answer. Uh, so, um, I don't know. That was kind of a coin toss. They may approve, or they may um, like my candid um, honesty. You know, I'm not trying to BS them, you know, with, uh, oh, I love the game, blah, 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 all this other good stuff, even though I do love the game, I do. But um, I didn't want to basically try to kiss their asses uh, just, become, just to become a community contributor, an official one. So, you know, I, it, it, that is the honest reason. It, it is. I'm already making the video, so why not make it official? You know, the little perks that the community contributors get don't really, they, they do nothing for me. Um, the only one that I would really get any use out of, for me personally, is having access to, uh, having early access to certain things. Um, but I imagine that they have a uh, non-disclosure agreement for some of those things what you can and can't say uh, which is fine I'll, I will abide by those but um, being able to see what's coming out before anybody else uh, you know I, yeah that would be nice but it's not really an incentive for me um, the other stuff mostly is an incentive for people who make money off of YouTube which I don't so yeah, I, I just want to become a community contributor because I'm already making videos. Why not make it official? So, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Uh, was that a... What do you think about that, you know? Do you think that they'll appreciate it? Do you think they'll be like, yeah, screw this guy? Um, you know, either way, I, I don't... I... I I want to say I don't care, but I kind of do, because I did put in the effort, I'm continuing to put in the effort to make videos, to basically give EW free advertisement. Um, so I, yeah, part of me does care, I, I would like to become a community contributor just to have it official, but if they decline me, you know, no big deal, I'll still make videos, <laughs> you know? Um, Basically, it'll just mean that, you know, if they decline me, it just means that I won't be uh, hindered by rules. Um, so, yeah, you know. Um, so, yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this over to that Diamond Jackal, man. This was actually, I, I couldn't believe it. So, let's get over into that. Alright, so I was looking for Springbok when I came upon this guy. And as you can see, they're right there to the right. And I was I was looking for Springbok to uh, complete a mission. And I saw this guy, he was legendary, 28 to 32 trophy rating. I was like, yeah, I gotta get him. 
Um, for side stripe jackal, uh, you know, I looked at my whiteboard. I saw that the minimum for diamond is 29.1. So I was like, yeah, that's well over the minimum trophy rating for a jackal. <laughs> and so I said, screw the Springbok, even though I need them for a mission. I'm going to try to get this diamond potential. You saw I pulled off that shot there, and now I'm just like, all right, we got to go get them. Um, and this whole time I'm like, please don't go out of render. Please, please don't go out of render. Please don't go out of render. I didn't even know if the shot was a good one. I had no clue. I mean, I was like, did I screw that up? Did I just screw up? A potential diamond please tell me and I look at my map and I went okay he went down he went down pretty quick so now I'm like all right you know maybe I got him I think I got him but then that doubt started coming into mind again I was like man maybe it's just a gold maybe I got trolled was it a troll please don't be a troll it was a legendary it was over the limit come on so uh, here I'm just like, all right, you know, I got to I got to uh, get my bloodhound leveled up. So I set her on the trail. And I'm like, all right, let's let's do this. You know, uh, am I going to get it? Is am I going to get my diamond? I've never gotten a diamond jackal in this game before. So I was like, come on, tell me I got it. Tell me. Tell me he's a diamond. So Hera finds him. I'm like, all right, cool bad place for a picture so I didn't bother doing that and boom got myself a diamond oh look at that from 200 meters out um, what a lovely lovely shot it hit the stomach um, and the liver everything came out just fine the trophy rating just barely made it it hit 30 I made it by 0.9 <laughs> um, but hey, I got it, you know, so good stuff. But uh, anyways, guys, you're going to see where the game crashes here shortly. So if you like the video, hit that like button. If I've earned it, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.